We had a young guy who uh, was killed in a vehicle accident. It's one of those things where a little inattention, he drove into a cloud of smoke when there was a grass fire and didn't stop and just drove right into the back of a large vehicle. I tried to take a shortcut and was electrocuted. He was up 60 feet and his partner was up 40 on the piece below him and uh, the guy wire snapped that was supporting uh, the piece of steel that he was on and it fell to the ground and they both went falling to the ground. It was an electrical accident, it was 600 volts and he had an in and an out exit. So it went right through him, clear and clear. The man was down, he wasn't moving, period. But the whole time I was dealing with this gentleman, his father was over my shoulder. And he kept saying, you gotta save my son, you gotta save my son. Was it preventable? Yes. And it just, I've seen it ruin uh, people's lives. We need to work with everybody to, to try and get them to think about it more because every person I've talked to where we come with close calls, they said, well, yeah, after thinking about it afterwards, well, you know, that was wrong. They knew it was wrong. It was just a real reminder to me when I was very young in my career that um, there are practices and procedures in place so that I can go home safe. Accidents can be preventable. So, I mean, you look at an accident and you think, okay, could it be something that we could have changed or we could have thought differently or done differently. So I don't like the term accident because it is preventable. You always have to be one step ahead because it is your safety. It's your it's your life that you're playing with out there. In this industry, it's one of the industries of the world where our people in the field are, are dealing with dangerous stuff every day. In our company, we call it the road to zero. Zero accidents, zero people getting hurt. If the guys know that they're working in a safe environment and they feel that they're supported that way, you know, they'll, they'll work hard for you. I think it's just continuing to educate, continuing to talk about it, having people give their feedback and their ideas and always being ready to listen to somebody. My biggest desire for the SAS power workers and all their contractors is that they go home knowing I did my job today. Well, at the end of the day, and what we're trying to achieve is, is everybody to have a good life. And that's the most important thing.